Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. I'm Angel and sitting here is Chester. I don't know if you guys remember him. I got him a while ago. I have shared him many times, but when he was pretty much unpainted, he had a slight paint job done to him, but I always told you guys I want to paint and emphasize on all those little wrinkles. He's a look of a little old man baby and you know, all babies can be born like that he is just absolutely unique and just fun he's got the umbilical cord um, and i have painted that i now have painted my whole baby and i also painted the umbilical cord to look like the real umbilical cord because it was just skin tone and it's not supposed to be it's supposed to be a grayish white so i did that i'm going to go over all his art and show you guys what i did but he is just phenomenal so we're going to pop out his uh, nook he's got that um, preemie nook really cute I have a purple and a teal one but we're going to show you this beautiful baby yes let's show you this beautiful baby now if anybody is interested I this isn't one I'm actually going to buy to paint and sell uh, because it would take you know a person to really want this baby um, somebody you know that's into um, you know just the size and all of that of him so if you're interested, I will take custom orders on this one. Just let me know if you're interested and I will get my hands on one and paint it. Of course, you know, just hit me up an email. I'll tell you the price you'll pay and then I will get it done for you. But he is all silicone. He's got a very heavy head, um, very, very heavy. So he can, you know, do all that movement, which is really great because his head is big. Um, he is a 20 EcoFlex. He is squishy, but he is just a little bit more firmer, but I wouldn't say too much firmer. He still is really great. And you see he can move his head really good and all that. So if you are interested in this gorgeous little old man baby, uh, just adorable. I love this baby. And God, he feels so good now because he's sealed with that silicone velvet. He feels so good. No more stickiness. I don't got to do the um, powder anymore or nothing. But if you're interested, let me know, okay? So let me show you this gorgeous boy and what I did with him. So first off, look at that face. Look at how I emphasized on all those little wrinkles that he scrunches his face up. Uh, the blushing I did to the cheeks. I did give him two little moles, one on the forehead there and um, on the side of the cheek. And then blushed him up, did his lips, got the wetness coming down the nose and his eyes because he looks like he's mad and crying. So we gave him that look. I'm possibly going to root lashes. He did have lashes. Um, but being a new, new, newborn, you know, he'd be like more of a preemie. Um, he may not need it, but I may root some eyelashes, but he does have the eyebrows already done. I just went around that, but he's already got those done in there. So, and I did pull the eyelashes out, of course, to paint him, but I possibly am going to root some eyelashes in there and maybe even a little bit of hair. I don't know. I like the bald head, but look at the veining on him. Look at, as we go down, you see his chin, his nipples, the veining in that chest. Look at that umbilical um, cord. That's the actual cord, not the scab. This is the cord. Look at how realistic that looks. And I thought to even keep it shiny, I shined it up after it was matted and I got this umbilical clip to put on it. Look at it, it looks cauterized on the end. Isn't that just amazing that I did the redness around the belly button there? But that's what gives the baby life. And look at how much better that looks than being skin tone. You'll see before and after photos. Actually, I'll kind of just put them like this and then just show you the face before. But I'm going to show you befores and after um, at the end. So watch for that so you can see what he looked like. But look at the hands. Now, I did the fingernails too. I, being so new, I did the fingernails. Let me kind of clear this up here. I did the fingernails, but not the white tips. But I did do the beds because they're just so tiny. You know, so I just did the tips there. It cleared up for me. Awesome. Um, but yeah, he's just gorgeous, you guys. And then as you go down, then you see his legs. All the creases I did there. His little toes, putting the redness there, the bottom of the feet. He is gorgeous. Definitely wears more um, uh, smaller preemie. So he'd be more of a micro preemie. You can put preemie clothes on him. It just depends on what you buy. But his head can wear any hat because he's got a big, big head. He does. But that's what happens when babies are born early, like premature like that. Their head and things are over, you know, overgrown or whatever and things like that just because they're being born too early. So their body hasn't grown into things. But yeah, he is just a stunner. I love him. I did the wetness in the ears, painted the ears. If you can see that, I forgot to show you guys that, the ears. And then all those wrinkles. Look at those wrinkles and those two little moles. Isn't that adorable? And he does come with the mo uh, open mouth. Hopefully you guys can see that. He already came with that. So, and I didn't do the inside because when you do it like stick, so I just leave that because you can't see it anyways. Uh, but I can paint the inside. If somebody wanted it painted, I can. I'll just stick a toothpick in there to hold it open. It just, you lose some of the paint that way. But he is gorgeous. I didn't show you the back of him. Here's the back. Look at the veining, the elbows on the back, 
Look at the little baby bum. Look at his bum. He's got a cute little bum. Look at the veining. And then, of course, the back of his legs. He's got a little heel prick, too. I forgot to show you guys that. I did a heel prick on him because uh, he is very new, so he would have that. And he does wear the little diapers. I get them from um, Walmart uh, in the, actually the toy aisle, so it is a little diaper for him. But if somebody wanted him, of course, you wouldn't get a lot of clothing with him because he is smaller so you'd have to get the clothing for him but i would send still a nice box opening i'd send a few of the diapers with i'd send um i do put a preemie onesie on him and uh, that's how i would send him like that and of course a little hat he'd get the mitts would be a little big um the socks i can't do socks because i don't have the micro preemie socks i just own a couple pairs of those um but it still would be adorable like i said but if you are interested that's the only way i'll do this baby just because he is not um, you know, probably everybody's cup of tea. See, I have a little pair of preemie socks. We're going to put those on him and even they're a little bit big, but he is a decent size. He is 16 inches long because of his head. So 16 inches long. So if you have 16 inch clothing, it would work, you know, for him or whatever. But I just do the preemie onesie and that works fine. He looks adorable in the onesie. So you could just do preemie onesies on this baby and oh my God, he is just a cutie pie. I was so happy to get him done. I've got one more baby in my collection, which is my um, Sebastian, you guys would have seen. Actually, it's the same baby of the one I just recently sold, my Mateo, the biracial baby I did. I have that same one unpainted and I'm gonna do mine. I'm not sure what I'm doing with mine. If um, I'm gonna do Caucasian or something else with mine, I'm not sure. But that's the last baby in my collection for silicones that need to be painted. Then we need to start working on the rooting. I've done some rooting in some of them but don't have them all rooted. But yes, all my babies are painted now and I just absolutely love. Now you see, he can fit into a preemie onesie and then I've got this baby hat. He can fit into pretty much all hats. He's got the perfect size head for that. But we'll do this baby hat like what you get in the hospital. It's like a hospital hat. We'll do that and give him his little lovey there. But isn't he stunning? You guys, look at that face. Come on, isn't that just adorable? Um, I've heard people say the look of like, you know, sometimes babies are so cute, they're ugly, or they're so ugly, they're cute. Uh, that's what he is. He's just, he's not ugly to me. He's so sweet and so cute. And I love that umbilical idea of the cord. And like I said, I wanted to paint it. I think he turned out phenomenal. I love the way he turned out, and I wanted to share him with you guys. And then at the end, you're going to see before and afters of the, such a difference of that umbilical cord. Before, it kind of looked like maybe his little uh, boy bits <laughs> because it was skin tone. But um, did really great on the boy bits, too. I painted that and all that. But that umbilical cord, I mean, that is just one of my favorite parts about this baby is that because it's just so unique. And so I actually had it <coughs> rolled up when I got done with him. I just kind of rolled this up because I wanted to enjoy that. I mean, it just looks so real. And that's what gives life to babies is the umbilical cord. You know, it looks like it's got veining through it. I mean, I just did a really nice job on that. And I just hope that you guys love him. And like I said, if you're interested in me doing a custom of this one, let me know. Get a hold of me. I'll stick my email up on the screen. I would have already done it, but I'll do it again. Get a hold of me if you're interested in this baby. And I will definitely love to get, you know, to get my hands on it and paint one for you as well. Um, I think you would absolutely love it. He's heavy. He's almost, uh, I want to say almost four pounds. Yeah, he was like almost four pounds. It was like, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. But that that floppy head, look at how far back his head goes, you guys. Very heavy head, but very strong silicone. He really is. And like I said, that's what gives you the ability to move his head around. You know, you can do that with him. And that's what I love. He is a cutie pie. And then, of course, his squishy little legs, his little legs and, and arms. Yes, it's so cute. Love this baby so much. I really do. He's adorable. My husband loves him. My husband's the one that got him for me. When he's seen him, he's like, I got to have it. I seen it on... Um, Stephanie's channel from In Love with Reborns, and I had to have one when I seen it. I thought, what a unique baby he really is, and he just turned out so beautiful, and he's so silky soft now and sealed. I don't have to worry, but I'll tell you what, that baby was hard because he did come with some kind of paint. It was very hard to seal him. You have to do things, you know, I had to keep trying to get him sealed. So, but I find I found now that they do sell it unpainted, so I can get it unpainted and paint it for you guys. But isn't he a beauty? I love him. I hope you guys love him too. Baby Chester. All right, we're going to get going. He will blow you guys a kiss. Mwah. He loves you guys. Mwah. I love you guys, but remember, God loves you the most. Sorry I didn't get the reading in today, you guys. I just wanted to share him. And, um, you know, just just because it was the fact that I had done, usually I'll do an extra video on this day and then share a baby, but he'll just be for Wednesday. Um, actually, it would be Wednesday's video. Happy Valentine's Day, you guys. I didn't even think about that. I'll put that in the title. Happy Valentine's Day. 
to you all. And Chester wishes you guys a happy Valentine's too. And he says he loved you guys. All right, everybody take care. God bless. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Thank you.